And Mel Gibson as the beaver. Who among us ever thought we'd hear that expression? But that's exactly what happens this week as Mad Max picks up where Jerry Mathers left off, portraying the lovable Theodore Beaver Cleaver from the classic sitcom Leave It to Beaver in a new movie opening this week about the beaver's current day exploits. Apparently, someone on uh, Mel's staff must have told him that uh, playing a lovable American icon of innocence would probably be a good way to bolster his public image. But frankly, I'm not sure how comforting audiences are going to find this particular vision. From the looks of things, the Beave is going it alone this time. Ward and June are long gone, and older brother Wally has disappeared, replaced by a hand puppet with whom Beaver tries to recreate their warm, fraternal relationship. It seems a pathetic gesture, and it plays out against the backdrop of the character's alcoholism, depression, and wrenching separation from his wife and kids. Clearly this isn't your father's Beaver. And I have to openly wonder about the wisdom of treating such a whimsically conceived character with this degree of brutal realism. I mean, what's next? Opie's post-traumatic stress disorder? How about Marsha Brady, porn star junkie? Come on, guys, what's up with that? I mean, are we so addicted to snark that we have to throw these lovable characters under the bus just for our own amusement? Haven't we... Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what's going on here. I bet you anything, Eddie Haskell is the one behind this whole let's trash the beaver master plot. <laughs> He's such a scamp. Anyway, that's certainly what it looks like to me. For Movie Guys, I'm Stephen Lewis. Thank <laughs> you.